Hi there and welcome to my studio and my YouTube channel. Uh, here today you will see me go through a pastel drawing. A pastel drawing of two horses. A wee Shetland, a wee Shetland pony called Yogi. A lovely wee character, a feisty wee guy. And a big beautiful cob called Blue. Big handsome fella. Right, uh, I will get to draw these in pastel on pastel mat. Uh, a bit like this surface there uh, and I believe it's 50 centimeters by 70 um, yes if I'm not wrong anyway uh, so that will be a commission that I'm working on and you'll see me go through it quite quickly because it will be a time lapse although I will uh, narrate some of it as we go along because uh, some of you might be interested in learning a little bit about uh, pastels and pastel drawing some people call it pastel painting, but it's the same thing. Anyway, without further ado, we shall get going. My first step in creating my pastel drawing was to figure out how to place both Yogi and Blue on the paper. Here I've drawn them with fancy charcoal, called Nitrum charcoal. It just comes in different grades of hardness and softness than some other brands do, and is perhaps a wee bit more consistent. Once I was happy with the drawing, I transferred it onto my pastel mat board. I did that by taping a transfer paper to the back and going over the most important lines with a blunt stylus. I don't trace my portraits from photos. In my opinion, part of the interest in my work comes from the very human struggle of trying to achieve the likeness and my own expressive reaction to whatever it is that I'm drawing. The way I work also means I can invent a little bit more, change the scale, etc. All that a little bit more freely. That's not to take anything away from other artists out there who do trace. It's just the way that I prefer to work is by eye and mostly freehand. In this drawing I was asked to change Yogi's colour to his summer coat and the shape of his mane. Also take out the bridles and some other wee changes. I'm using a variety of pastels for this drawing. I start off with pan pastels because they're good for blocking out the shapes without filling up the tooth of the paper quite so much. I imagine it's a bit like applying makeup. I then go on to pastel pencils and unison pastels, also some other brands of soft pastels that uh, create super saturated fields of colour. Pastel mat is a real revelation. Prior to coated or sanded surfaces like pastel mat coming along, we had to be careful to work with harder and darker pastels first. Otherwise, the paper would get clogged with opaque and desaturated tones and it would become difficult to work on top of. Pastel mat is a very forgiving surface to work with. If you've not tried it, I definitely recommend it, and particularly for detailed work. Moving back and forth between a couple of different source photos here and you'll see me using an artist's scale measure or scale divider. What that is is a set of wooden calipers that uh, helps me to set a proportion and uh, it also gives a different scale for the, the drawing.
If you enjoy what you see here, please give my video a thumbs up. At least it'll give me a, a little bit of inspiration to keep doing what I do. I'm a long way off from making money at this. It's uh, somewhere along the, along the lines of a thousand subscribers is what I'd need for that. And I'm a long way off there. So, yeah, do consider subscribing if you want to. But a thumbs up will uh, at least give me a little bit of inspiration to to carry on these videos. If you think that I can improve on them, please tell me in the comments section below what I could do to make that happen for you. Okay, thank you.